Well, hello, all you internet peeps out there in the interwebs. This is Tashlan and Charlie and Puddin and Pie all saying hello and welcome. This is a new series that I'm starting uh, and it's a game that I've had for quite a while and I've, I've played a lot and I love it. It's, it's very addictive and um, I've had a lot of successes. I've also had some epic fails and the epic fails have been fun because when it goes wrong, <laughs> it goes wrong spectacularly. Uh, so that, that's all fun and games. It really is. Uh, this is a game called Prison Architect, and um, I will leave uh, links uh, down below to where you can get it if you want to play this game as well. It's uh, pretty much it's, it's, it's a sandbox game. You know, um, you've got to build and manage uh, a prison. Uh, there's uh, quite a few sort of features with this. Uh, you can, there's a lot of things that you can change. You can also, and this, this is something that I think is fun. Once you've built your prison and you think that it's the best prison in the whole wide world, well, then you can start the game as a prisoner. And then you can try and get out of the prison that you built. So there's a nice little twist in there. Uh, for now, what we're just going to do, we're going to do a basic build so um, what I will do you go I'm going to go into the reports we've got our workers arriving uh, when it comes to prisoners we don't have any at the moment so we go to intake now at the moment it is set for uh, minimum security and medium security prisoners to come in and we've got 24 hours I find that if you let it run like that, you don't have enough time to confine your prisoners by the time they've arrived. So what I tend to do is I put this at closed for now. So that gives us the opportunity to get at least some kind of facilities prepared for when your prisoners come in. Um, what we'll do then jobs there's nothing going on at the moment we'll go to grants so we will get money to build certain things and we need that money i can tell you because at the moment we don't have any income we only get income when we have prisoners oh dear <laughs> cat fight uh, so the best thing to start with is the basic detention center now you can accept two grants at one time so definitely we want the basic detention center so we'll click on that and you can see that our money's gone up we've got our 20,000 advance and we'll get 10,000 when we've built all of these things that are here uh, we will also go for the administration center because we do need to get a warden and offices and all this sort of thing and the little cash bonus that's great as well okay now we've done with this screen and the one thing that <laughs> I did horribly wrong the first time I, I played it was I thought okay well I'll build all of these things and you know we're for away lovely and I was wondering why the prisoners were never moving anywhere and then I realized well it's because you've got no fences you've got to remember this is a prison <laughs> prisons need fences <laughs> you know, otherwise the prisoners just gonna go okay toodaloo <laughs> and off they're gonna walk who wouldn't i would <laughs> so let's have a look so we need a holding cell we need a shower we need a yard we need a kitchen a canteen two guards and two cooks and to separate two fighting cats i think my goodness you'd think they're killing each other wouldn't you They've just had their vet check and they each weigh a kilogram, bless their little hearts, um, from when we got them when they were 200 grams. 
<laughs> so they've grown very much. Um, and they, they, they're fighting fit. And they're little terrors, but I love them. And there's Charlie. He's feeling left out, so he's brought his squeaker. Okay, so if we now look at rooms, it's actually highlighted the rooms that we need to complete our objectives. So for a holding cell, what we need, it's got to be uh, five squares by five squares. It's got to be enclosed. In other words, it's got to have walls and doors. It's got to be an indoor room. Uh, so you can't just build a fence and, <laughs> and call that a holding cell. It has to have a toilet and it has to have a bench. Now you can put these anywhere in your prison. I tend to, um, your, your trucks and that sort of thing, they're all going to arrive in this area. So this is basically your arrivals area. Uh, so I tend to like the entrance somewhere where they're going to get dropped off. Um, I usually expand these out this way and create an entrance way through here because like I said this is where your trucks are going to stop and in fact if I take this uh, on off pause let's just run that so we get our workers there you go that's where it stops so this is really where you want your entrance to be um, so what I will do um, Let's have a look here. I'm looking for it, for where it says deliveries. Let's expand this so we get everything. Oh, that, that made it a bit easier, didn't it? <laughs> uh, I still can't, oh, there we go. There's deliveries. Okay, so we've highlighted that. So I'm going to expand that let's say three squares out that way and then I'm going to right click and take it away by two and that gives us just a little bit more room here to create an entrance. Uh, I'd like it to be a kind of walled entrance where the prisoners will come through. So we'll go to our materials and uh, I think we'll start with fence and we will build up later but we will have a fence along here and we will have a fence along here um, we're quite fine now to let our workers get on with that so now this will be where our prisoners will come through <laughs> look at them all walking in a row oh, so cute and every time you want things to be built materials get delivered so the materials get delivered and we've got this being built uh, this has a very very good planning facility so if you want to plan now let's see um, where would we like to put our holding cell now we're going to walk our prisoners through here I want to leave room for us to have a reception where they will get checked in and they'll get their prison clothes and all that sort of thing. So we'll have a reception over here. So I think that if we put our holding cell over here, bearing in mind it's got to be five by five. Now, can you see that you can actually see, let's see if I can zoom in, that makes it a bit clearer. There we go. Um, that five by five, if you want it to be the minimum, it would have to have to be actually be six by six because you've got to allow for the walls. But I think that is very much too small. So we're going to go a little bit bigger for our chaps. And we're gonna go, let's go, let's say 15 by 10. So that will be our holding cell. And what we'll do is over here, is we will put a little toilet for them and we'll have uh, our door we'll put a big door in over there we will have a door in here so they've got some privacy in their toilet and we will then have we will put some benches in over here I think so they've got somewhere to to sit down but that's just a basic idea so if we're happy with that plan then we can Go to materials, I think it's oh, foundations, my, my bad. Uh, do we want a brick building 
or do we want a concrete building? I'm going to go for a concrete building uh, because I think it's just a little bit more secure. I don't know if it is, but I just kind of feel that's a bit more prisony. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll put that in it says requires an entrance okay so now we go to our objects and we wanted a large jail door in there so we will plop that in now we're going to speed these little men up a bit while they build, build that now another thing that we need is we're going to need uh, utilities we're going to need power and we're going to need water. We also need to place those facilities somewhere where the prisoners are not going to use the pipes to tunnel under any walls that we're going to build. Uh, because they will. <laughs> they will tunnel through their toilets and they will exit the building. So this is something that you have to be aware of. So I kind of like to put my facilities somewhere within where I'm going to have my walls. Because um, right now we're not ready for any prisoners because, as, you, as I've said before, there's no, we've only got this sort of entrance fence. Nothing is fenced in. Um, so we will go to our utilities and you do get a different grid now and this is this is very good for being able to see where the grids are now you can see this they've installed lights here but because there's no electricity it's flashing to tell me that it needs power okay so we'll need a power station so i'm going to put one i'm going to put it about here i'm going to have a water station there now the water needs power so i would just keep that power station for that um water pump and then build a second power station here for the electricity now i've left two grid marks because you have these capacitors that increase the power output of your prison uh, now, we don't want these two generators to connect to each other because if they do, if one overloads, both will overload. And the last thing we want is an overload. Now, we need some cable. So we will zap some cable from, from here. We will take it out a little bit. We will bring it up here. This is entirely, you know, free choice how you want to do this. But I know I'm going to have a few buildings along here. So zap it in while we've got the money. Um, that should be enough for that. But now we also need, because we're going to put a toilet in here, we need water. So large pipes are the pipes that you guys are definitely going to tunnel through. So we don't want any large pipes in the building. So we want a small pipe coming from the large pipe through here and we can pop our toilets. So now let's go to where the toilets are and we want our little toilet in here. I'm going to zoom in so we've got it facing the right way. I'm trying to remember how to rotate. R is rotate. So we'll pop that toilet in there and we'll pop that in there. Uh, we also need to build a concrete wall where we've planned it there. And we just want a regular door. It doesn't have to be a cell door or anything. It's just a door where they got their privacy. So we'll rotate that so it's facing the right way around and we will pop that in. Now the other thing that we, we needed in this room were the benches. So we're going to decide where to put our benches. I think I'm going to put one there and one over there and we don't want them spying in the toilets do we so we'll put one in there um one in there and i think that'll do us um we can go back to where we were planning and we can get rid of that little planning bit there okay so that is our holding cell but it's not registering that we've built a holding cell yet, although we've got everything in there, because we haven't designated it. So now we go into rooms, and there's highlighted there. We will click on that, and we will click and drag along here 
to create our holding cell. And now if you look, I'll just get rid of that, if you look over here, that's been crossed out because we have now built our holding cell. Now this one's saying there's no canteens available and that's true because we haven't built any canteens. We've got a few more things to build. The next thing on our list as you can see there is a shower. So let's go to the rooms and let's look here what's the minimum requirement. There is no minimum requirement so literally you could stand them in a room that's a, a meter by a meter by a meter uh, if you were that cruel uh, i think that we need to you know give them a little bit of space so we will create a shower that will accommodate probably about 10 prisoners uh, you can make these showers as elaborate or as plain as you like. We don't have an awful lot of money to play around with. So when we're doing our planning, we, we've got to remember that it's an, going to be another indoor building. And um, we're going to take it off of these walls. So it'll be adjoining. So we'll build it out about here. Uh, I'm not sure how keen most people are on prisoner privacy. I sort of feel that they're entitled to it. <laughs> and this isn't a super max. So I, th I think that we can, if we made little cubicles like this, little shower cubicles, it's certainly not a requirement. Um, you can just stick them all in one big room. But, uh, do you know, I'm not that cruel. <laughs> I kind of, th maybe it's because I'm a girl. Let's blame it on the fact that I'm a girl. Uh, I kind of think, yeah, we're all entitled to a bit of privacy. Um, so I'm trying to work out how this is going to work. I uh, don't think that that's working there. Um, so then we'll bring this out here like that, and like that, and like so. What do we think? Uh, so that's given us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cubicles kind of wanted a bit more, didn't we? Um, hmm. <laughs> I wonder. Let's just get rid of that. And how it works if we build them this way. Aha! Uh -huh. Because we're not wasting on a corridor now, are we? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, eight. one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's eight. Uh, so we really do need, well, we can do that. We can make this, it doesn't have to be all square. So we can do that, can't we? And what we can have then is we will have our prison door in there. We can put private doors and drains over here. And we will have our shower heads over here in the corners. Because all of this planning does help with where you're going to put all of your pipes and everything. So if we're now happy with with this general look of our of our building we will now go back to building foundations we'll go back to concrete and we will build to there build right up to there now that might destroy that wall if it does not a problem we will put in <laughs> another wall we also need to put in another jail door. Now we know where to put it because we've planned it. 
So we will do that. Now, while they're building that, we can go back into utilities and it looks like we've probably got enough electricity, but we don't have any water. So we will take our water cable. Oh, no. We will go one down. I forgot there was an extra little bit of wall there. Okay, so we'll put that there. So we don't have the large pipes where the prisoners are being put. And then we'll take small pipes from here and we'll go all the way up there and all the way up there. Now, small pipes do have a limited carrying capacity. So you do need to watch the flow. I'm going to join them up that way because that will create a better flow. So that's us for utilities. So uh, it did destroy that wall and they didn't build all the way down. So no problem, we will just add that onto there and we know that will destroy that wall. And then we also have to add a concrete wall in here, which is easy done. And we will also now add concrete wall in, in all of the little cubicles that we've planned. And our little workers, they'll go gamely on and they will do what they need to do. And now that that is open, we can also put in little shower doors. Again, this, this is not a requirement. You saw the minimum requirements for this. I'm just doing this because why not? <laughs> uh, what we do need um, is we need some drains and we will put the drains where the doors are so it doesn't leak. So we'll do that. Have they not put in that door? This will explain why they're not going anywhere. Let's put that door in there because uh, we've got them trapped. There we go. There's the man with the little jail door. And all our other guys, yay, they're free again. <laughs> and we also need now to put in the shower heads. Um, so let's zoom in. So we've got our little shower heads. I'm never entirely sure which way is the right way for that. If that's the shower head or if that's the bit that fits to the, the wall. Uh, tell me in the comments which one you think it is. I think that it's the fat bit. That looks right to me that, and, you know, that, that bit's attaching to the wall and this bit's the shower bit. But if I'm wrong, you let me know. Um, we're going to finish this shower and then that's going to be it for today. Oh, look, I've put that wall in the wrong place. OK, these things happen, but that's not a problem because you can uh, remove walls as well. Um, I'm trying to see where it is. Demolish walls. There we go. So we're going to demolish that wall and we're going to put in the wall where it's supposed to be. So there we are. Now we can go back to objects and let's find our shower head again and R to rotate and we will pop that in there. Now is that door in the wrong place? It looks like it is. Um, so let's just... So much for this being quick, hey? <laughs> um, down here there is a dismantle object. So we will dismantle... Can we click on this door? Hello. What is going on? I actually, I think what we just need is we need a bit of concrete wall in there. I think it's because the door is open. The door's actually there, but it's open. So <laughs> well, that's not confusing at all. But, you know, I got there in the end. Right, so we've got a shower in every room now, every cubicle. And what we can do now is we can designate this room. I'm going to designate the whole 
bit as a shower and hopefully that will work. Yep, it's worked. We now have shower cubicles for our men. Okay, now this is, we've already been well over 20 minutes on this and um, it is time to feed my animals. <laughs> And the squeaker tells me, so um, sorry about this. So this will be it for now. We will come back to this. Thank you for sharing this with me. Until next time, this was Tashlan and Charlie, Puddin' and Pie. We love you loads. Peace out, peeps. Thank you.